Hi. Hello. Good evening. Have I got anyone tuning in yet? Right on time. It's right on seven o'clock. How good is that? Hello. Hello, Christine. Hi, Gay. Fantastic. Can you hear me? All going well tonight. Thank goodness. I tell you what, I had my IT department, aka husband, working furiously last night, but we just couldn't get the camera to work. It was oh stressful. But anyway, hey, we're here tonight. So yeah, that's great. You're crafting along, Christine. Loud and clear. Wow, it's working. Yay, yay, yay. Hi, Joy. Okay. I'm just going to put any of these comments from um, YouTube if I can manage it uh, because some of the girls were telling me that um, they're not seeing the comments from anyone joining in on YouTube. So uh, if I can, if I can manage it, I don't have a little, a little helper here so it's a bit hard when I'm crafting to do that. Pam, Christine, Joy, Gay, that's awesome fantastic so who's um christine's crafting along anyone else pam you crafting along tonight or are you just sitting back and watching just let us know if you're crafting it along because if i don't get anyone crafting along i can whiz through it <laughs> but i will take it slow if there's um people oh okay there you go okay gay well um so Joy's the only one at the moment um, from on YouTube. So there we go. And I fixed the problem, what it was with the comments on YouTube. Um, you're supposed to have it so it's set not for kids because if it's set for kids, you can't comment apparently. And I usually do, I have this little checklist and I usually do it. And the, the other week when I did it, some reason or other i thought i had done it but i didn't so that's a bit of my senility dropping in so um hopefully it's all good now so um we'll just wait a couple more minutes to see if we've got anyone else joining in no 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 joy that's fine you can stay at youtube that's not a problem there we go <laughs> I manage it, see? All good. All good. I don't it doesn't matter to me whether people watch it on YouTube or Facebook. It's personal preference. So um, hey, do you like my background tonight? I really needed a calming sort of a background. So I went with a beachy theme tonight. It's been a bit stressful here in this household of late. So um, I just put on a nice peaceful background so um yeah that's why i'm at the beach tonight but look i can reach up into the clouds Woo! <laughs> it's trippy eh? <laughs> ah, so who we've got anyone else joining us who hasn't commented um i think um from what I know, there's, from what I've heard, my sister Barb, she's going to be joining. She has a, um, yeah, it's nice. It is very calming, gay, the backgrounds. I feel, oh, I, I'll tell you what I did do today. I made gooseberry jam. Has anyone ever had Kate gooseberries? We used to have them when we were kids and I loved them. Anyway, we grew them a few years ago and we lost the plants, but somehow my darling husband managed to get them back. And so we've been growing the gooseberries and I may have been saving up and saving up um, and trying to keep them from the grandkids eating them all. And I had a kilo. So I made my gooseberry jam today and I'm really happy with it. And I gave some to the neighbours and um, because they're always giving me fresh things out of their garden and, and everything. And we've got some lovely neighbours. So um, it was really nice to be able to give back to, um, to the neighbours. 
So, and the jam, oh, I had, um, I had my dinner, but I had to have it on my own. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining. Julie's on YouTube as well. So that's awesome. So I've got two on YouTube at, at least watching. That's awesome. Lovely to have you here, Julianne. Pam, oh, you switched over to YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. Okay, that's what Pam said. She's on YouTube in TV in comfort. That's the way to go. That's the way. Hello, Michelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you, who's crafting along? Oh, didn't work on Facebook. Oh, there's others are on Facebook. Julianne, never mind. Um, Julianne said that it didn't seem to work on Facebook. So, um, oh, Diane, thank you for joining. Thank you, Diane. Diane, I was, it was Diane's birthday yesterday, everyone. And she's my very good friend in Sydney. And um, I was hoping to wish her happy birthday on a birthday. So I rang her anyway. But happy birthday again, Diane. <laughs> So there we go. We've got YouTube happening. We've got Facebook happening. So who is crafting along? Can I just have a show of hands? <laughs> a thumbs up if you're just crafting along. And then I think we'll get started. Yep, Diane's on Facebook. That's great. Um, yep, got a few ladies on Facebook, which is great. Julie's not. That's all right. And um, you can... Uh, do it later, Julianne. Let me know. Um, well, okay, so if you're on Facebook, you need to be on my business page, um, not on the Facebook group. So if you're looking for it in the group, it's not there. It's on my actual Facebook page, my business page. Okay, so um, just to clarify, there I have actually three Facebook pages. I have my personal page and then I have a winnings creations business uh, page and then I have my Facebook group and the group is private so you cannot videotape do a stream on a, a, a group you have to do it within a business page so just make sure you check you're clicking on the right page so uh, other ladies have found it on Facebook and that just might be why I hope um because everything seems to be working really good tonight so it's 10 past 7 so let's get started shall we so tonight we are going to be doing this little gift card box holder thingy what's it who's it i don't care what you call it i've just called it a gift card box because you make all your beautiful cards and um yeah okay it gay all you need is one piece of dsp measuring 30 by 30 centimeters not 12 by 12 inches it trims down your 12 by 12 it's about that much okay so and then you just need your scoreboard so that's all but what i wanted to say about this gift box when it's a great way of putting uh your beautiful handmade cards into a little gift box so i've done just tied it with some ribbon and i've just put a little just for you and i've got some cards in here now these i think i've got i think i counted eight two three four five six seven eight now depending on your embellishments and what you've got on your cards you could probably fit a lot more in okay so i've got envelopes in there as well what I will say is I put this extra score line in here because if you've got bulky cards or even taller cards, like this is the card we made yesterday at Coffin Card Class, so, and that's 12 centimetres and the box is just 12 centimetres. So I probably have to take a couple of those out because that's got a few embellishments. You can see how that's a nice square, where we go, there. But if you don't, you can have it like that. So I've put that extra score line in. When we're going along and doing it, it's up to you, okay? So let's get started. The inside, this is my mock-up one because I found one of these on years and years ago 
and I did it and I wanted to convert it into centimetres. So that's what I've done. So this is what it looks like inside. You get this little pouch here, okay? So that's to hold your cards and everything in. And it's a really easy fold and I'll show you how to do that. So let's get our scoreboards out and a scoring tool. Now I'm using, this is the tartan foil. Look at this paper. How gorgeous is this? So this is Pebble Path. In this pack of, um, or oh, what's it called? Tartan foil. Let me get my thing up. Tartan foil. This is 12 by 12 DSP. You get two sheets of copper clay, two keys, um, pieces of Lost Lagoon. This one is the Lost Lagoon. So I love that colour green. That's beautiful. The Pebble Path and the copper clay. So I'll just get my pack here and show you. This is the copper clay which is really pretty as well. So that's beautiful tartan foil. As I said, I'm just using Pebble Path. Now, I don't know whether you're going to see my score lines, but don't worry, I have, I have pictures. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I've never been called in genius before. It is nice, Gates, lovely paper. So the first step for those of you who are uh, crafting along, step one, on one side, you're going to score at six centimetres. Now, I've got my scoreboard here, my Simply Score, but I've got my uh, centimetre sheet um, board in here as well. So this is all in centimetres. Make sure you line it up nice and even. First one is at six centimetres, I believe. Six and 24. Okay, six and 24 centimetres. I'll just leave that up on the screen for you for those who are crafting along. <laughs> Drool, yeah, it is nice, Julianne. Yeah, I've actually ordered another one. And it may or it may not be a prize at my World Card Making Day, which is on the 7th of October. So um, I'm just getting together all the prizes and cards and everything. So it's going to be a fun day. So um, now the second one, we're just going to turn it. So that was my 6 and 24 score line. Just rotate it once and then on the next side, we're going to score at 10 centimetres. Then we're going to score at 12 centimetres. 22 centimetres. 24 centimetres. And I put that extra one in at 26. Okay at 26. I don't know why you didn't get that. Hi, Kay. I don't know why you didn't get a notification. So maybe check your settings. Okay. So uh, that's all the scoring. You might be able to see those lines a little bit better there. Okay. So do you need that? How are we going? Those crafting along, are we up to scratch? All right, that's the tartan foil. If those want, uh, that's the, the code for it. It's on the online exclusives, I believe. So you won't find it in the um, catalogue or anything. So, um, and you will never guess, but my camera on my computer has just been disconnected just out of the blue. How weird is that? Um just as well I'm still going on my phone. I hope you can still all hear me and everything. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to put up a diagram 
okay so that's the cutting diagram so those ones those yellow sections there have to get cut away completely all right so we'll just grab the scissors and we'll cut those sections away completely it's really quite an easy gift box to do um i found well if i can do it anyone can do it i'll tell you that now so um i'm just it's just the tricky bit the only tricky bit is the fold and but once you've done it once it will be fine you will be fine so we're just cutting away those um Uh, in centimetres, Gay, do you want the centimetres? Um, step one, you will score at six and 24. This is all centimetres. Let me see what we've got. I might be able to convert it into inches for you. Six is about 3.3 3 and one eighth. No, sorry. That's two and three eighths, and twenty four centimeters is nine and a half. Okay, and then the next one is at ten centimeters, which is closer to three point three and seven eighths. Twelve centimeters is four and three quarters. 22 centimetres is eight and six eighths. One, two, three, four, five eighths, five eighths. And 24 centimetres is close to nine and three eighths. Okay. Does that help? Okay, cool. Awesome. Finish scoring. So now we just got to cut away those those bits in the corners. Okay. Up to cutting. Woohoo! Then once you've cut, you just burnish your folds. Okay. Burnish your folds. And I've decided I'm doing the light grey of the pebble path. This is going to be on my outside. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining. Lovely to have you all here. I was thinking of you today, Karen, because I did some cooking from homegrown gooseberries. I did gooseberry jam. And I know you do a lot of your home cooking and, and, and that with your lovely husband as the gardener. And my husband's the gardener. I'm not the gardener, but I do like to cook. And I did think of you today and I thought, huh, I wonder if Karen has ever made gooseberry jam. So we had our, our first big crop. I've been saving them up and I made gooseberry jam and I loved it. It was really nice. Okay, so can I take that diagram down? We all right? Because I need to show you the folding bit. Let's, okay, hang on, let's go hide that. Okay, so there's, there's the folded bit. That's the bit. <laughs> so I've just burnished all my folds. And when I make boxes, I do say make, it makes such a difference when you burnish with your bone fold because you get your nice crisp edges. Mind you, this tartan foil that I'm using is fantastic. It's just creasing just beautifully. So am I right to go, go ahead and show you um, how to do this fold? Because this is the tricky thing. Once you get this done, you've done one, you'll, you'll be able to do the others. Okay, so this crease, the one closest to you, that one there, we're going to fold that back on so this crease 
fold it in and then this crease comes back to this edge okay so we're going to fold it and it'll get a diagonal score line a, a diagonal fold line okay i'll do that again if you fold it in half take this crease closest to you and fold it back on that margin there okay then you do keeps freezing i don't know karen <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take this one and um, fold that back. This, this fold back onto this line here. Oh. Well, everything seems to be working my end. The only one is the camera that's on me but my camera is working here. So I'm going to keep going and hopefully it will still record and you can watch it later. So there's that other diagonal fold. So, so you've got those two there. Then you simply turn it round and um, switch to Karen's gone to YouTube. The girls are watching on Facebook says it's okay for them. So not sure what's going on. So then we're going to turn around and we're going to do exactly the same. So the fold closest to you, you bring it back onto that margin there. Okay. So exactly the same on all four corners. And try and line it up as evenly as possible. Okay, and then the last one, this fold closest to you back on the margin. Okay, and I really love this tart. This is, this is actually working better than the other one. Maybe it's just, I don't know, but anyway. And so there is your box, okay? The folding is the trickiest part, Michelle, yes. But once you get one done, um, you should be right with all the four. So those who are crafting along, I hope that you've managed to get those, those folds in because now what we're going to do is I'm going to put up a picture of where the glue will go, where the adhesive will go. Um, and this is a, another one that I had, I made and I had the tape on. So that might give you a better idea. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing tonight is the tape. So those large, tri well, they're not triangles, but they're like a square with a triangle. Uh, they're the, the four, one, four pieces where you put your, your adhesive. Okay, follow. I'll leave that up. Yay. <laughs> Not sure who that one is. It just says YouTube user. Great stuff. Okay, Karen, switch to YouTube. That's awesome. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on. I'll leave that picture up there for you. And um, I'll go ahead and just do this. And I'm just using the tear and tape. Some ladies might want to use the liquid. I, the only reason I'm using the tear and tape is because I thought it would be easier for you to see, and that's what I've got on that image. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, it's personal preference too. Some people like to use a really strong tape when they're doing boxes and that. So um, I'm just... I think I'm going to have to have my IT department look at this camera on my my uh, laptop because it's just switched off again. It's just ridiculous. Hi, Maggie. Thanks for coming along. That's all right. You can always catch up later. 
I'm just doing the taping up. This is the diagram. So of where all the tape's going. I'll leave it up for a little while until I'm finished anyway. And for those who are crafting along. So next week, um, I'm going to take a break from crafting along and I'm going to go back to demonstrating. I've got some um, inking. We're going, to, we're going to do some smooshing. Hi, Lynette. Thanks for joining. Uh, next week, we're going to do some smooshing. And no, it's not smooching. It's smooshing. So we're not kissing the ink. We're smooshing the ink. And we're just using our ink pads and normal paper. And I will show you how to do all of that next week. And I've got some colour combinations that might make it easier for you. So, okay, there's my tape. Those ladies crafting along, how are you going? All right. So, um, yeah, so next week it's ink smooshing. I um, went to a watercolour class at a, a shop uh, a few months ago and when you learn watercolouring, you have to smoosh your water, your inks, your, your paints and everything. Yeah, <laughs> in other words, making a mess, yes. So, uh, yes, you do make a big mess when you smoosh. But I tell you what, Maggie, I love it and I just have a smooshing session. <laughs> I got carried away the other day because quite often you will go, someone will go, I know I do, and I think, okay, what colour combination will I use? So hopefully next week. I've got some colour combinations that you can smoosh and you don't have to, you go to your craft room and think, oh, yeah, Beth did that. I can do that colour because I know that those colours go. So hopefully I'll make it a little bit easier for those who want to do some smooshing backgrounds and I'll be showing you some different ways on, on what you can do with your cardstock when you've smooshed it. Okay, Karen, thanks anyway. Catch the replay, cool. Don't you love technology? Not. All right. So I've got my um, my adhesive on. So all we're going to do now is fold that in and give it a good press. Okay. And there's your little box. Okay. Now you can see why I put that extra one in there. So if you had little cards, you could do that or longer ones, but I've done it so that you can do it like in three sections more or less. So it's just if you want that extra bit there, which which I quite like because I, I quite like that way as well. So in the difference is I call that the church one and this is the flat one. So let's, oh, this is a card I made today. Quite like that one. That's using the handcrafted elements dies, which is really nice. So let's fill this up. And, of course, decorating this is totally up to you. Okay. So there's three cards. You could sit pack a lot more here's that card I made today we did yesterday at coffee and card class so that's 12 centimeters so that's just at that 12 centimeters score line well it's not not at 12 centimeters but that's where that first second last score line was okay and that sits just nicely with that size card but when you've got other cards in there and you've got a few that will tie up really nicely now, you could go ahead and you could put your um, your little, you know, the, um, the magnets that we did uh, that I showed you on another YouTube video, another video a few weeks ago. You could use your Velcro dots. I just did mine with ribbon um, and I just grabbed this grey ribbon. I didn't even know, don't even know whether it goes, but just to show you. Um, you could just tie it in a nice bow. It's a bit empty. It needs to be filled up a bit more. And then 
I all I did on this one was I just cut a die, uh, a couple of circles, some flowers, and you know, you, you decorate it to the way you want. You could put lots of color on there. I just left it uh, just plain because I think this paper just speaks for itself. But you know, I could, um, I might go ahead later on, well, well not tonight, but tomorrow and, and decorate this. But it's a really easy box and it's it makes a nice just makes giving those cards a nice presentation for when you're giving the present away you go to all the trouble to make all your beautiful cards why not wrap it nicely so you could do these for christmas cards you know give someone a whole or all different types of cards you know as a birthday present because then they've got cards for the rest of the year so i hope that that's a quick class tonight so, um, but next week we'll be doing uh, a belly band. Yes, Diane, definitely. And all you would need is um, some cardstock, some plain cardstock, and then your pattern cardstock. So, and, and layer it and make a belly band. That's that's a great idea. Anyone got any other ideas on how you could decorate it or what you could do? So, and you, you could adjust. Uh, oh, yes, to hold it. Oh, you could put chocolates in it. Yes, Maggie. Yes, definitely. Um, but when I have, yeah, chocolate doesn't last long in here. Yes, Velcro dots, Maggie. Um, the Definitely the, um, even the magnets. I always say, always put the disclaimer on about the magnets. So, um, yeah, because they're uh, quite dangerous when kids get hold of them. So, all right. So I've got two now. I suppose I better go and fill them up with some cards and see who I'm going to give them to. There's my two boxes. I, if you make one of these, please share it on the group page. I would love to, or in wherever you want, doesn't matter, on the business page or on the group page, in in the comments um, after the video. Would love to see what you've made and how you've decorated yours. And thank you to everyone who shared the picnic baskets the other week. They were fantastic. I love seeing what you've made. Ah, <laughs> oh, Barb, is that you? <laughs> I didn't. This is Barb. And I'm going, who's this YouTube user? <laughs> I knew it was her. Gave it away. She said, sis. Yeah, thanks, Barb. I'm glad it worked. I want to see what you've all made. Um, so thanks again for joining me. I'm sorry it's only a quick, quick, um, a, a quick uh, class tonight. That's all right, Diane. My pleasure. And um, oh, you know why? It's it's good that it's a short class. It's because my kitchen rules is on. <laughs> No, I didn't even think of that actually. But I, I did watch it last night because of the cancel video and I thought, oh, I'm just going to sit down and watch TV. I was so cranky. So anyway, I hope you can join me next week. I won't be showing you my face because my camera's died again. And, um, oh, Wendy, that's all right. You can watch it later. Not a problem. So um, bye, Barb. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I know, sorry, it was a quick class tonight, but I am now a little bit concerned that my computer is going to die because this camera is not working. So I will say goodbye. I will be, I'll put the full instructions up on the group very shortly. And don't forget to show me what you've made. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Bye.